This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another tour review and today Transformers Legacy United G1 Universe Triple Changer Sandstorm because it says here Triple Changer and again Triple Changer here with 3-in-1 because uh, you don't want people to get confused um, you know because I guess that's not detailed enough but anyway honestly I'm going to be 100% honest I will, I'm not a big Sandstorm fan um, as a character, um, I, I, like I, I prefer season one and then season two and then season three. But I do have favorite bots throughout the season. Tracks from season two, Omega Supreme, of course, uh, Male Bruticus, and then from season three, uh, Rodimus Prime, um, Ultra Magnus, you know, uh, Marissa Fairborn. Okay, not a Transformer, but you know, still. But Sandstorm, I always felt bad for Sandstorm because, uh, you know, when they go to a Paradron, um, I always thought it was so weird, like, this whole planet blows up, he's sad, and Rodimus Prime turns around and says, Well, no need to get all mushy. Cybertron's a better place anyway. Not so perfect. Really? So when, you know, Alderaan got blown up by the Death Star, if Luke would have turned around and said, Eh, don't worry about it, Tatooine's a better place. What the hell, man? Like, completely unsensitive. That that was always something... At this point now, I'm just laughing about it, because I thought it's, it's like the coldest thing you could say to somebody who just lost his entire planet. Uh, so, anyway. But, the toy... Wow. I'm impressed with every mode. The transformation, the panel folding. Um, everybody's saying that the weakest mode is the Dune Buggy. It's a fantastic weak mode. Like, if that was my only weakness, I'd be golden. So, anyway, I'm going to review this guy. I'm super happy to have this guy in my collection. But before I do the review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. Uh, you can also check out the interview playlist if you want to hear stories from the actor. That's very fun. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformer. And now, let's roll the intro. For the sake of space, let's start with the box. Nice artwork, uh, right in front, both modes, looking good, 3-in-1, Legacy United, you know, Generation, Takara Tomi. Nice, uh, well, that's a face sculpt of the toy. I would have preferred the face sculpt of the show. That's just me, I mean, can't please everybody. But if they do have a upgrade kit, a third party does something, I'll probably get it. You have uh, the Doom Buggy, the helicopter, and that thing. That's the greatest thing about the Not the greatest thing, but I mean, it's, it's a pretty cool accessory. Uh, little gun, big gun. Yep. And the rest of the legacy stuff. Let's move this here. Taking a look at the poster that comes with it. Uh, huge. But they do a very good job at showing you what to do with the cage, uh, what to do with the accessory, and how to do the transformation. So there you go. You have a little uh, gun that you can put in his hand or on the wrist, kind of like uh, Defcon. Uh, so that's a, uh, you know, nice little gun. No waffles. This one here is full of waffles. Waffle here, waffle there. Waffles everywhere. But it's a nice gun. Uh, this is, well, it just, it's, I don't know why, but uh, you put it uh, inside the, uh, the, the, you know, port hole here. Uh, make sure you put it on the right angle. Uh, you want it to uh, angle a little upward to follow the same angle that uh, we have uh, on the backpack. And there you go. That's uh, a complete sandstorm this thing is fantastic great idea you use it 
Um, you know, you in uh, Dune buggy mode, you actually you know split it open. Uh, different parts go everywhere, so that's uh, pretty neat. And now I can get back in, uh, and then you have an actual rope. So well, that's pretty cool. Uh, but you don't have a lever to put it back in, so uh, you have to roll it back up manually. But two pins, um, you know, you can put it underneath his hand so that he's holding the cage. Uh, but it's more for the helicopter mode. So there you go. That's it's pretty neat. You know, you could fit a tiny ravage in there. Very tiny. And now the figure itself is, it's very good. Like, I, I like the way it looks. Yes, there is a huge backpack, but it doesn't really matter. Like I said, the only thing that really annoys me is the face sculpt, but I don't want to say annoy because it's actually a very good face sculpt. Like it, it's an Autobot, it's, you know, Cybertronian. You get the, the same feel, but it's just not the cartoon accurate one. Um, nice details, you know, a very orange, but you have different shade of orange and reds to uh, break it. Um, but, you know, the Autobot logo, uh, nice gunmetal with silver. Uh, you have the same silver here on the shin. Uh, the wheels, rubber freaking wheels. Yes, Hasbro, make more of those. And the way that the, the blades are um, held together, uh, that's way more efficient than what we got with Springer, really. Uh, no, no complaint. The black, you know, the backpack actually cleans up pretty nice. You do have wall folds here um, at the legs, um, but it's not that bad. I mean, it's not that bad. It's really good. Uh, nice black, nice orange. Yeah, can't complain. Um, but he, he does have the back heavy syndrome, you know, so be careful with that. And, um, you know, rubber wheels and both pins are the same, so it doesn't look goofy at all. Um, yeah, I like it. I really dig him. Uh, for our, uh, you know, articulation, you do have, well, your head is kind of hard to reach, uh, but it would move, but you can't really move it properly. So that's annoying. Uh, you do have the um, arm that extends on this side. Uh, without the backpack, you would have a full Ferris wheel. Um, you'll notice that the chest doesn't peg properly. Like it, it's gonna hold, you know, but you have to really shove it in there, but something is popping it back out, you see? Well, let's remove, well, you can't remove it. Oh, there you go. So, but there, sometimes it stays, sometimes it doesn't. So that's annoying. And now, well, see, now it stays. So I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just extreme force is required. Anyway, uh, you have, you don't have a rotation. Oh no, wait. Yeah, you do. Okay, I was trying to, you have a rotation under the shoulder. You do have your elbow bend and you have a rotation at the hand. Actually, not a complete rotation. Hold on. Nope, it just goes a little back and forth. Uh, I think it would go because it's on. Oh, there you go. You just have to move it around because of the transformation, the way you put this inside the uh, forearms. Yeah. So see now it, you know, clips out again. So that's annoying. You do have a waist rotation, but because of the backpack, you don't get a full merry-go-round. That's too bad. But you know, it's there can I lift this no uh, you have a rotation underneath uh, at the just uh, above the, the tie sorry you have your knee bend not quite 90 a nice clip uh, you have your ankle rocker and you have a toe tilt kind of because of transformation so yeah so there you go, that's the articulation. The paint applications are nice. The articulations are okay in robot mode. He's super heavy, come on, there you go. But it works. Uh, you have his gun. You know, that was a something probably picked up when Skylinks dropped by with all the weapons. Come on. Stay, nah. Right now it doesn't want to stay in and that there you go. And you can, like I said, put the cage 
underneath here. So he's holding it. And uh, actually, I don't have anything that fits in there. Well, nah, not even a Jada. Well, not this Jada. Uh, but uh, if you have uh, the tiny roller uh, from the core class um, Optimus and Bumblebee, pretty sure it fits in there. All right, so let's do some comparison. Actually, let's, uh, yeah, let's do that. I'll do transformation after. So here is Sandstorm with Studio Series 86 Ultra Magnus, my top figure of 2023. No regrets at all with this figure. It's amazing. Lifeline from the Paradron Medics set with Ratchet. I like this figure. I mean, it's not the greatest mold, but uh, it does the job. And it's a fair representation of her, you know, just a green, uh, light green RC. And uh, and now, you know, Toy Hanks is doing something that I almost want to get. You can convert uh, this figure, which is Legacy Strongarm, into playback, which apparently is another figure from that same episode. And I'm tempted, but not yet. So anyway, and other season three character pipes, which is a really good mold. Okay, and now I'm gonna take this guy and turn him into a dune buggy. But I won't do it on camera. Okay, sure. You showed me, Ock buddy. Now I'll show you. And here we are back from transformation and it's a little annoying really the the fact that this like underneath you have the whole back of the figure that sticks out underneath so it rolls but I feel like if he hits a bump it's going to scratch uh, his old uh, plate you know or not plate but whatever that part would be rubber tires they roll really good uh, the wheels clip nice, you know, right here, uh, so it's stable and it's going to be practical for the transformation. You do have uh, little uh, wheels here for the LF copter mode that you can see. Uh, the base of the cage goes underneath for more stability. Uh, this is not too much of a hindrance, uh, but I mean, like I said, it barely clears the space unless I'm doing something wrong. And one thing that's annoying is that the cage... Um, is uh, I don't know when I pulled on it it somehow unclipped the gray part uh, in the pins here and now it won't go back down so but anyway not too bad uh, the robot parts are not showing that much I mean the legs are completely hidden you know the, the this doesn't look like uh, folded up feet it's actually a you know nice uh, front end uh, top of the you know the hood looks really good uh, you do have the Autobot logo and the gunmetal and the silver. Uh, nice, uh, you know, you have some details. I hope you, yeah, you see it. You have some details. So those are like uh, nets on the side uh, for the dune buggy mode. So that's really cool. Uh, too bad there's like, you know, hinges and holes and everything underneath. Uh, not underneath, inside. Uh, the, uh, like I said, the cage, it's, you know, pretty good. I like the way it's done. I understand why people say this is the weak mode but it's still pretty good i mean the back end it, it suffers from the astro train syndrome in uh, shuttle mode you know where the back end of the shuttle looks like crap but the front end looks great uh so anyway but yeah i mean and then you split that little accessory here to i don't know it's a spoiler i guess anyway not too sure but wow i love this alt mode even if it's not perfect it's fantastic oh all right let's do some size comparison what do i have on hand buzzwordy bumblebee silver streak a uh, pretty good figure buzzwordy bumblebee jazz uh the origin jazz looks really good fully toy hacks and studio series 86 grimlock so there you go that's i i do like i mean of course if you display him like you know f front facing it looks amazing from the back a little less but you know you, you can use the winch kind of it's uh when the cage is on top of that it doesn't really want to roll out but you know you can manage so there you go final look at sandstorm in dune buggy mode and transformation's done and i honestly love all the panel folding and the rotation like how you rotate this part here to you know from the shoulder to form the 
the front. I mean, sure, there's wheels, you know, sticking out uh, underneath, but I, it, it, yeah, don't matter. Looks good. Oh, it's not clipped properly. That's the thing. There's a lot of stuff that uh, wants to pop loose uh, once in a while, but you just have to line everything properly and you'll be just fine. Love here, this panel. I love how the blades are underneath this thing here and then it, ah, Asbro did an amazing job. I understand why people say that this is the strong mode because it does look really good and maybe my maybe i did something wrong with the uh, i don't remember them sticking out that much the first time uh it kind of you know you have those little wheels here but i, I don't think that they do anything because the front wheel don't turn uh because they're stuck to close with the uh, uh the, the winch so you know it hinders them uh the arms are sticking out a uh, little too much but i mean that bad it still looks really good from the front um yeah weapon storage included and there's there might be other pegs uh, yeah underneath here if you wanna anyway and look at that this you know how long has it been since well probably since springer springer had uh, uh, a good rotation too but this this is fantastic and then you have the little one here come on ooh, ooh, ooh. there you go that's fun. Yep. And you have the cage, you know. That's, I love it. I'm in love with this toy. It's it's amazing. Well done, Asbro. Honestly, very well done. Let's do some size comparison, you know. Uh, so let's uh, put him here. And let's, uh, I don't know, compare him with McDonald's Command Drawn Commander Magna. Uh, you know, because it's a plane. Uh, gigawatt in uh, hover mode. And Magic Square Delta Magnus. I think they call him Transport. But uh, I just wanted to show a uh, Delta Magnus. All right, let's take this fantastic helicopter and uh, put him back in, uh, you know, robot mode and do some uh, final size comparison. Or maybe just a money shot. It's as beautiful in death as it was in life. So here we are with my triple changer collection. So uh, in order of preferences, I say this one is terrible. This one is good. This one is amazing. This one is great. And this one is fantastic. This one's still my favorite because he's my first Decepticon from my collection. But I mean, Sandstorm is really good. So I guess now I'm missing Octane and Broadside. Yeah, I think that's uh, what I, I need for uh, Triple Changers or actually from season one to three. So there you go, guys. This is my review. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also, if you don't mind sharing, go ahead, because YouTube is doing a terrible job at recommending my stuff. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.